the women we find 80 percent of men is ugly not okay not unattractive but ugly that's why i know we're all sleeping with the same guys because women find them all ugly the difference was before you didn't have access to the hottest guys you didn't have access to the celebrities you didn't have access to doesn't even have to be celebrities but just the hot guys on social media dating apps instagram right so you know all the hottest guys would go get married and then you know the okay looking guy would kind of make you laugh and you fall in love and like the guy down the street that's kind of how it would happen right because we can build our attraction in other ways but the issue is women mate select for looks typically in their 20s and then in their 30s it switches more to long term and like resources typically and so the issue we get is like you know we get to 30 we've slept around with all these people and then we're less valuable to the guy that was really on our level 10 years ago but we just have an inflated sense of ego because you know it's like the men being addicted to porn we are addicted to social media it changes our whole worldview and nobody can convince me otherwise because I just hear girls coming in with the same arguments that are just regurgitated on social media um, and again I think that's what happens when the media is female-led evil happens right when marriages are female-led evil happens and I just see the same trend that whenever stuff is catered to the woman in even family dynamics it's like we hear 20 years later that the dad actually wasn't a bad guy the mom was just shit talking him for 20 years or the mom's encouraging her to do only fans like I just see yo so we back in here for another edition of your mother and that right there was as everybody knows her as just pearly things Hannah Pearl Davis now I've done a couple videos about her it's ironic that she was talking about most women find men ugly 80% exactly right it was ironic she's not that cute <laughs> that's the pot calling the kettle black man nobody told you this I'm gonna be the first you ain't aesthetically that pleasing even for a white woman you look like you're 27 you look like you lived a hard life you already got crow's feet and wrinkles around your eyes I'm 41 I don't look that beat up right one she can tell and i really wish a lot of women that don't have experience with men would just shut up and when i say that it's not coming from a malicious place she clearly doesn't have that many encounters with what she likes to call good looking men so that uh, um 20 percent of good looking men she doesn't have access to anyways even with her money or status or fame of such right so this is like irony at his best ma'am you just you ball like free balling it now a lot of shit that she says i can agree with this one i can't agree with because one i don't like people that are 10 almost 20 years younger than me talking about back in the days you don't know back in the days and it's asinine for people to think now because you got access on the computer to somebody's dm that fine bitches didn't have access to good looking dudes in other states other cities other counties you see i'm going with this shit and she's a dummy 1985 if a good looking woman wanted somebody from the fucking temptations or david ruffins or Al, uh, marvin Gaye, all they had to do was go backstage it wasn't nothing but a purchase of a ticket to the concert you sound stupid this is and, and the tickets were actually relatively cheap back in the days probably 25 35 dollars that was a good ticket so the fact to say that oh well now we have access to uh social media we, we ma'am you couldn't slide in a quote-unquote good looking dude's dm what the fuck are you talking about people just be talking it'd be the younger generation it just make you want to give them a bufata because they just be saying shit because it sounds high and she's saying nobody's gonna change your mind and that's right but last time i checked she is um a single 27 about to be 28 year old almost pressing 30 and don't got no kids ma'am you're free balling in the dark you don't know what you're talking about <laughs> talking about like like we lived in a goddamn stone age where women have access ma'am the same access that beautiful women have to quote-unquote good-looking men or accomplished men or men with means right high-valued men is the same access they had 40 years ago right i don't know what the fuck people be thinking like they didn't make telephones and shit hell they, they had the internet in 1989 what the fuck you sound stupid they had chat forms in 1988 like it, this is what blows my mind like, people think that 20 25 they think that the internet is like some new shit now it runs a little bit more advanced and it's a little bit more i, I guess you could call convenient but to say that like oh you know back in the days a woman the good looking dudes all got married and then the you know the so so guys you know the women had to settle the fuck yeah women like you 
<laughs> you would have been one of the women that settled. Good looking women wouldn't wouldn't and didn't have to settle. Which is why a lot of them bitches in their fifties and sixties now got like six, seven, eight, nine kids. <laughs> you sound stupid. <laughs> In any event, I'm, I guess she could keep doing her thing. Like, I, like I said, there's some things that I agree with her on, namely as it pertains to feminist, anti-feminist views and women knowing their place. And you know, saying she advocates for us men, so I ain't gonna slander her too hard. Every now and again, even though a clock, a broke clock is right two times a day, sometimes it's wrong most of the time. She's that broke clock. In any event, if y'all like this episode, you know what to do. And I'm out. No.